update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Oh, I grabbed the wrong chart. Sorry about that. Well, I'm just going to tell you what the indices are doing. Oh, well, no. Let me, uh, let's do this the right way. Give me a moment here. Didn't mean to change the window that quickly. Uh, this way you guys will see exactly what's going on. So right now we've got the uh, Dow trading up to 623 points out there. That's uh, nearly 2% to the upside. The S&P is 2.5% to the upside. She's trading out to 4273. That's up 103 points. You've got the NASDAQ 100 up 435 or 3 and uh, 2 eighths, uh, 10% to the upside you've got the uh, russell up two and a half percent or 49 point semis up a little four percent 128 but what does all that mean jelly bean let's go take a look at those uh, daily cash indice charts out here so if we take a look at the dow trading out right now at the 33262 level that's resistance it's traded right up into its red oscillator and change line that's a level that price would need to close above to say that okay more rally to come not a guarantee but more rally to come. If you reject red oscillator and change line, it tells you you're still in the condition of a falling price oscillator below zero. Those are bearish conditions. The S&P is sitting slightly above its red oscillator and change line. The red oscillator and change line right now is printed out of 4265. You're at 4274. You want to see it close above 4265. It's as simple as that. The NDX 100 is above its red oscillator and change line, which is printed at 13612. If price can close above that 13612 area, price likely runs up to its prior swing point level in the 14342 level. The Russell is above its red oscillator and change line. That print is printing at 1981. You close above that, says you get back into that 2060 ish range out there. What is it? It's at the uh, 2065 range. The semis, they are trading above their red oscillator and change line at 3249. That suggests that price could be moving up to the 3499 level. The transports likely targeting 15421. That would be with a close of about 14954. If I take a look at the XAU, you've got gold pulling back. It's off 56 bucks right now. The XAU, which looks like this will confirm a TD9 count top, but price is above its green oscillator and change line. The price level to watch at the XAU, for those of you that are long GDX, Nugget, or any of the miners, is going to be 152.11. You want to see that continue to hold that support. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you back here on Take care.